I just wanted to shoot out a couple reminders and also um, we did have a couple questions about some things that I wanted to address. So first of all, I wanted to remind you how to check in a child who is not pre-registered um, and to make sure that they get checked into the right service. So let's say you're checking in and you come here. Uh, if you're in the 8.30 a.m. service, it's going to look like they're pre-registered until you get to um, this screen and then it's going to you know, give you a little error message. However, it's going to, if you're in one of the later services, it's going to default to the 8.30 a.m. service in whatever classroom that they, um, you know, are, are aged for. But, so um, you're gonna need to change this if they're not pre-registered um, and you're in the 10 a.m. or the 11, 11.30 a.m. service. So um, this will actually give you kind of a flag right away when you click, in their, click their names. If you see 8.30 here, that's gonna let you know that they're probably not pre-registered for the service. So the way you change that is to go over to the pencil and click the service that you're in, prepare check-in, and then at that point it'll tell you that the 10 a.m. service in the four-year-old class has seven available spots, but this guest is not pre-registered. If you were to leave that 8.30 um, service there and forget to change it to the 10 a.m., then um, you would it would give you probably an incorrect um, number of how many spots are available because normally there's plenty of spots in 8.30, but there's not always plenty of spots in the 10 a.m. or the 11.30 a.m. service. So just make sure you get that changed, and then of course at that point you would know for sure that they haven't that they're not pre-registered, and you could you know I see that they that your child wasn't pre-registered online. We do have seven spots in his classroom, but please make sure next Sunday that you get him pre-registered online and then you can go ahead and check in that person um, a couple other questions that we had um, was for instance we had um, some kids that are registered for more than one service because their parents are serving so it's going to default almost randomly so you can see half of her kids are, are it's going to it's going to default to the 10 a.m Half of her kids are going to default to the 11.30 a.m. just because she has pre-registered them for both services. Now you should be able to change it back and forth between the two services that she's registered for. Um, and honestly, if you just want to check them all into the earliest service, and then since they pre-registered for both services, I know that um, that they are and they, they actually have a spot in both services because they pre-registered and that spot won't be given away in the system. So um, they also do not have to come back to the check-in to check in for the 11:30 service. So if we're going to be there for the 10 a.m. and the 11:30 a.m. They don't have to come back to um, the check-in to register for that second service. They can just stay in their classrooms, obviously. But you may um, want to go ahead and change them all to the 10 a.m. Um, just so that um, uh, just so that it's kind of consistent there. But it doesn't it doesn't make a huge difference because I, again the system knows that um, that they have pre-registered for both services um, and and that and so they'll have a spot in both services. Um, now the other question that we had was um, if they want to if they were supposed to be at one service and uh, are they pre-registered for one service but then they decided they wanted to come to a different service. It actually won't let you change that in the system. Um, so at that point, if they wanted to come early or they just didn't get up for the 10 a.m. and they showed up for 1130 or whatever it is, at that point, um, uh, you, you should be probably able to know. I, I would be able, I would be telling you, you know, um, 1130 is pretty full or something like that. And if you knew that we were close to capacity in that case for the service that you're checking into, then I would have them come back um five minutes after the service was started so just tell that parent oh i see that you are registered for the 11 30 service and you know it's the 10 a.m service right now the 10 a.m service is almost at capacity or it is at capacity 
Um, but we may have some spots of some people who pre-registered and don't show up. So if you want to check back at about 1135, we'll be able to count the number that's physically here in that classroom and see if we can accommodate your child. So um, that hasn't happened a ton. I know it's happened a couple times, and unfortunately the system just won't let us change that. Um, so that would be how you would handle that. If you're not sure about where capacity is at, you can text me. Um, if you knew of another kid that was five years old that um, maybe he's not checked in or um, I don't know, you could do it that way. Try to see what capacity, how many spots are available in that in the classroom um, that way. But um, but basically, it's it's not happened a lot. You can't change it. So um, we'll accommodate the best we can. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. And we are still doing the um, the, the new household forms where they fill out if they are a new family that you need to fill that out. Um, and you may not be able to um, put them in as a household um, with the way we're doing it now, but you can just um, leave me that form and I'll make sure that whatever needs to be edited on the back end gets edited. Um, so let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you all so much.